What's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead of War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Grand Columbia. And in this episode, though the Royal Navy is sallying forth from Liverpool to try and um, attack us. So we've brought our full fleet to bear. Uh, they've got a number of large ships we'd like to capture, um, and a number of smaller ones we don't really care about. But the important thing is, how will our rocket ship actually uh, allow us to capture any of these big ships? Or will they set them on fire and cause them to explode in a glorious um, <laughs> exhibition of fire and destruction? Um, remains to be seen, but still, rocket ships are good fun. Especially when we're at the point where we don't really need to worry about capturing enemy ships to grow our navy. We've got enough, more than enough production capacity and uh, financial um, financial wealth <laughs> to allow us to do that. Um, okay, so... Hmm. Admiral's going to have to be fairly up front for this, otherwise the whole line will slow down. Because at the very least, if you put your faster ships at the back, will you gradually make your ships faster and faster? Oh. <laughs> Forgot you. As long as we put our, uh, if we make our slow ships, put our slow ships at the front, fast ships at the back, we will be able to um, make sure our line is coherent. But the main thing is we need our. If we've got our faster ships at the rear, we can more readily adapt to any unforeseen changes. So they're sailing into the wind. Just gonna speed up our gameplay a bit. The funny thing is, this guy, so he's an Admiral's flagship first rate, followed by a second rate, so they're actually gonna be going at slightly different speeds, because the second rate is gonna be able to outpace the first rate, so I need to give them slightly. I can't pass this one yet. But it's funny, their full stack fleet is not large enough. To occupy a to fill up our uh, units that we can bring to bear. So you need to be going at pace, rocket ship. You're uh, you're going to sit back and just start opening fire as soon as you can. Yeah, first, second, third. Plenty of stuff coming in. Be our rocket ship. As soon as they get within firing range, they're going to effectively drop anchor and just keep firing salvo up salvo up salvo. So these are all, the, all of our reinforcements coming in, so just give them a generic heading. Probably easier just to do that. So I think we're probably going to sweep around this way. Or do I want to do go this way to try to protect my rocket ship? Do you want to be in range soon? Uh, decrease sail. Now you're going to be well within range, although... You just need to get stuck in. Oh, so you're on fire. Actually, this will probably be fine. The important thing is that we're consistent, although I may actually get you to... Probably not going to cross Northumberland in time, but you're going to get through the gap between Northumberland and Acheron. All of you guys have orders just to try and make the best speed. Actually, it looks like 
they're not going to push here quite so much. Get the ship to turn back, and the rocket ship to turn back into position. Northumberland's going to open up on Antelope. Rockets away! Yeah, it's quite a wide spread here. You're engaging my rocket ship, but that's okay. I mainly want to get into position to start cut it, start chopping up these heavier ships. Chase guns are firing, but you guys engage antelope. I feel a bit concerned for Cormoran. Keep firing your rockets. Lost one of our guns, but not our rocket firing component. And you're going to be the first thing they shoot at with their broadside. Okay, so Europa. Get ready to fire chain. It's Gustav, Coventry, and a few fourth rates coming in. Yeah, all of you guys just make best speed. Sadly, some of our slower ships are getting caught up. They're picking on, the frigates are picking on Northumberland. You're on fire. Cut the uh, yeah, our rocket ship. To be fair, it was quite exposed. Let's probably get you out of the way. Bring this ship in. Fire a bunch of chain shots. You guys cut the corner. Second rate ship of the lines getting into the mix. They need to keep pushing. They don't get ahead of us. good for now. Although I think I do need to start making sure I pump up my broadsides because you've got 36 guns, just fire. By chain, ready to hit, good hope. Yeah, we will be dismasted. Need to keep firing change to try and work on Gustav. Especially because you can block us from Captain. Let's 
try and knock out another one of your masts and then you will be probably done for. Oh, she's round the shot. Pound and smash straight into the hull. down soon I think. The frigates caught me out. Excellent. That second rate ship's lost a few of her masts. Start pumping her around shot. The main mast is gone. Yeah that rocket ship's done for. Unless I get you in the way. In. Yeah, there goes the rocket ship. Fair enough. Yarmouth is surrendered. Keep engaging. Attack Teresa. With a round shot at range. You don't want to start firing chain at captain. You're going to push on out. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Okay, you've surrendered. Okay, all of these ships start start to get over this direction. Quite a change to try and as you know your good hope is upset in general. Get over here though. I'm round shot in, she's got to do damage. If you can try and cut across, cut across, um, Captain. I'm going to fire chain into Good Hope. guys. Good hope surrendered. Right, Thunderer push in fast. Let's probably get Acheron back to safety except for my Admiral. Well, Thumberlands turned around with their starboard guns. They've got more shots to bring to bear. Maybe bring you out straight like this. And if you get in directly ahead of Thun of Captain, we can knock out their masts. Santa Teresa got hit. They're on fire. Fire to get Thunder in position to do the same sort of job. There goes Coventry. Turn around and engage the second rate. Although, to be fair, you may have to start pounding round shot into Captain, because I don't think you're going to get there in time. Fair enough. Another mast gone for Gustav. Begin pivoting the Admiral's flagship because they can provide some fire into Captain. Let's fire up Will. Let's see if we can get another 
another mast and then a cheeky mast hit. Fire it will off because you need to put your fire out. We're just pounding Gustav. Drop anchor. Let's see if you can knock out another burst. I mean, Santa Teresa is definitely going to be gone. The effect of it start parking ships. position to open fire because right now we're actually getting quite split up. You sail on to here. You sail on to here. You push through into that gap. Main mast is gone. Just start pumping it with round shot. You, you, you know, Santa Teresa can fire at will. But you may shoot at Greyhound rather than Captain. There you go. Northumberland's. Get out of here. So you sail on ahead, you sail on ahead. Load broadside left. Thunderer. This fleet is going to be in prime position, prime position, quote unquote, to engage the remainder of their fleet. Okay, just engage from the rear. Come on, Captain. Break. Come on, Europa. Get some shots in. She's routing. Board her. She surrendered. Let's try and get our uh, fleet to organise itself. And this is going to take a while. It's kind of why I also need you guys to make sure you're steaming in from a good direction. Sure, you are. All, you are all coming in at full sail. You're not withdrawing. And these are their. This is. These are their true heavy hitters. These are the ones that have got some meat behind them. So Northumberland, you can... I mean, your retreating direction is not necessarily where we want you to go. You're going that way. I 
to all of you guys. Try to get into a position where you can cross the T again and at full sail too. But a number of these ships are going to be. It's going to be iffy. <laughs> He's sinking nice and level. <laughs> nice. Room together for now. Because that means you guys probably. Oh, there we go. They 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 are aware of us coming in, forming a line. Okay, the, my reinforcements will come in from the side and then sweep around their formation. Concurrent that's lost a mast is going to take some shots. Make sure Northumberland is sailing away. Full, full sails. I mean, you probably want to go that way to catch some of the wind, at least. See, the head of our column is going to be in position. Third and second rates so are going to have to deal the initial blows. Okay, let's take this third rate ship of the line and send them over here just to block Concurrent from any easy prizes they think they're going to get. Ooh. Exceptional volley there, my thunderer. Yeah, just in case this fellow thinks they're going to board Northumberland and take them. Europe is clearing her guns into Berwick as well. Got a couple of crew up in the sail, up in the mast rather. Interestingly, okay, you're going to form two squadrons. One squadron is going to go that way. Let's make sure you've got to make, put you in the line of fire a bit, but to make sure that you can still engage. Looks like some of these ships are. Well, it looks like you might be making a direct beeline towards Northumberland. If you be honest, you stay where you are. group of ships. Come on, anchor on. Pivot slightly to the left. It's time to get buried. Fire round shot to engage Conqueror. 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 Position. Just drop anchor and start unloading. So you're starting to pivot, so now you guys can pounce on the rear of their formation. I'm 
gonna get Acheron with a larboard battery in ahead of Beric. You're just putting volley after volley. Conqueror. Not so. There's only so long they can kind of deal with that, although they are dealing with it reasonably well. You might put a chain shot volley into it just to see next time, see if you can get a mast down. to deliver a thunderous chain volley. Barret's on fire. You're going to keep, third rate's going to keep pushing on towards Clyde. There goes her mainmast. Just pour fire onto her. Firing chain. You better off firing chain. Maybe. You might be better off pounding her with round shot. She's getting awful close. You want to try and run past this entire blockade. You can't get around the back of Clyde anymore. Park yourself right in front of Clyde here. Dump a full broadside into Conqueror. Troy Border, get South Pedro. There we go. Surrendered. These ships need to get into a position to start engaging Clyde. Greyhounds on fire. There's another mast. Santa Teresa that was going to break. There we go, they saw through our dastardly game. cut between them because it looks like their fleet is actually going to split in half again. Try cut around behind and is this fourth rate going to attempt to attempting to board us or broadside us because either way completely excellent new ships push on You'll both of you jump on to and if you can pivot fast enough you can put a good broadside into Clyde Some good chains, those masts. You just stay ahead. Monarch cut between them. Put some shots in, but not enough. Everybody pursue the main fleet.
don't really expect these third rates to last very long on their own. That might be probably why they're pouncing on them like this. them a little bit. Fire around shot again. She's lost the rear mast. Now turn and flee third ring. Everybody else just keep trying to catch up. Monex lost his mast, which is to be expected. Our back is on fire. Keep turning to start engaging these ships in general. Advice is healing over. Back has got the main mast. Run! There we go, our third race. We've sank. Oh, there, there's a main mast. It's gone. Pounder with round shot. I mean, it's kind of hampered everyone else's plans. Thunderer, cut in behind. Don't go crazy. We're going to pick on Clyde for a while now. Yeah, you ships need to stop doing that. Or at the very least stop doing that quite so quickly advancing towards them. Good hits, Acheron. Just park up and engage the enemy fleet. A lot of our ships are now just picking on Clyde. Get one of you to fire chain just so you can maybe try and pick off that last mast. Thunder is engaging and two of their heavies are trying to escape. Get a third rate to try and pursue them, kind of. go. Clyde's lost all his masts. Acheron is pouring fire into Anne. Speed. Clyde is surrendered. Work on the next ship. So you want to go here, park up your open engage and third rate is under significant and are you sinking? <laughs> you wish you could abandon ship. Try and cut in and use your use your port battery. One of our reinforcing ships are now getting into position. Oh. We're in a position to get into position. Anne is under a lot of fire. And Thunder, you've done a superb job. 
drive-by from Franklin. There we go, on fire and surrendered. Franklin in. I mean, yeah, you're definitely going to sink. <laughs> your only hope is to fire a. Yeah, I see. Your only hope is to fire a, fire a broadside to try and push you back up. Everyone get in. Whee! Excellent. New ships push in. Now Northumberland's pretty safe. I can give them an order to actually just withdraw. Even crippled, but it's still dangerous, like a wounded beast. Our advice has exploded. Back full speed, Adrian full speed, Pensia full speed. Some of these ships to push in right behind. They're in a not a, they're in an, un, in an unenviable position at the moment because they're just being fired upon and they cannot respond. But we are getting into a position where. They're not going to be able to stop us. Full speed. Chain shot at the ready. I'm going to show you what it means to be in trouble. Fight of it. Go on, Dax. This might be the one we pick on. Our back is upset. Shots into a stern, but not enough. I'll try to cut them off so that we can. I'm not sure where all you guys wanted to go there. Even these heavy ships, when 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 you don't want them to, they can be quite manoeuvrable. That's why I'm all about wanting to keep just knocking down masts, stop them from moving, slow them down. Once they're hobbled, that's when we overwhelm. There we go. Let 
and you still actually you guys still might fire chain shot just really rip those masts off leave them with nothing Got nothing. Potencia, put out that fire. You start firing round shot, pick our champion. Yeah, there's still a dangerous gun platform. Hey, you came back. You've surrendered like a dog. Click the front of you. Champions on fire. That's right, you Scally. Give up. Surrender. Become part of our fleet. You sail on ahead because it looks like advice is going to try and slip past Adrian. She's still fighting. Go on, Sal Pedro. Have you got any guns? Yeah, you fired. if you can there we go now it's all all eyes are on advice by a one lone gun So much death. She will not give up easily. And you are kind of in the way, so just make as much speed as you can out of the out of the pit out of the uh, that patch of sea. Let's probably get you to go over here. You know, keep sailing straight on as you're firing into the ship. She's rounding, boys. Go on, Franklin. Give us a volley. I mean, you say Pyrrhic, we completely destroyed their fleet. Did we take a lot of damage too? We did, but we're still in a very good position to take advantage of that. So we want the heavy first, we want the second, we want the heavy, we'll take the... F no, we don't want... Eh. Don't need the fourth. 
Don't need the rosé or the heavy frigate. Todo listo y en orden, Capitan. Sí, Capitan. So you guys, yeah, so we almost. Yeah, we definitely, yeah, we definitely came out ahead there. Flota lista. Both of these fleets. Adonde, well, first Capitan? of all, I can use. Sí, señor. Okay, so we've got two full fleets out of this. Get to Glasgow. Let's get uh, the sloop. Sí, señor. A la espera and de órdenes. A toda vela. Oficial encubierta. Make repairs. Sí, New chat. Raid Liverpool. Preparado. Sebastian Serrano, because your army got a kick in. Replenish as much as we can. Um, but yeah, we need to make sure that we bolster our troop numbers from Edinburgh, whereas Mr. Lozano is going to advance and continue to threaten threaten London itself, and we do want to capture this fleet and take the victory into our service. Steadfast, brave sailor, famous post-captain in his day. Okay, so that was Agustin Andrade. Not you, Murdoch. A reinforcing admiral. No, oh, wait. No. No, this was the one I... F yeah, this was the one I fought with you. Champion deck. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. Excellent. He's only 43, so he's got plenty of time to use all those attributes. Awesome. Um, right, let's hit and turn, because I have no money to do anything else. Mm, here comes Mexico. Uh, we are not going to intercept. The Royal Navy's engaged someone up to sea. Eek! Ooh, no, run. Run away! Well, the raid our way back to the Iberian Peninsula. Because I don't think they'll be able to chase us because they moved all the way from Portsmouth. Enemigo a la vista! Oh, here we go. So all this flotsam and jetsam of the British colonial troops it was actually coming out to try and engage us very well. We will defend against you, sir. We need to make sure we use our howitzers like mad because we are going to be running low on ammunition. Ammo state is going to be a very real concern. So you may end up wondering, may it, we... Sometimes you do end up having to uh, retreat when you run out of ammo because you just can't keep fighting. But we've got plenty of ammo. I mean, that's quite a nice artillery position there. Let's just get two units of guns set up. We've got to bear in mind they do have reinforcements coming in from potentially funky directions. So I'm going to deploy some troops. You can't actually shoot from there, so you're not going to deploy any defences. You men are going to ma handle any redeployments. Howitzers get ready to start shooting. Make sure my carabiner fire it will off. God, all of them. Curacia, get over here. And my household cavalry. Chamfer off these infantry units a bit. Well, maybe these, just these two. Although you guys do need to advance back to engage the enemy. Make sure we try to kill that general. The infantry itself we're not bothered by. 
push the fusiliers up to sweep up the main force. It looks like they are going to send their cavalry in against our against our cavalry force. In which case, then we want to push our infantry up. So that we, um, I mean, you can see how the map's kind of rolling. But yeah, we, we want to push up so that we can start trying to box in some of their reinforcements. Where's my carabiner? Get them over here. Get my marines and some other units to be a bit of a blocking force here. Oh, it says start engaging these this block of desert warriors. The sooner we can mop up these fellows, the better. Although you might actually start dropping air, dropping carcass shot onto the, the enemy there. They're trying to use puckle guns, which is adorable. There being a fire and will into the 20th regiment. Engage the militia. So the plan is sweep up this formation, so sweep up this army, which we will do because they're shattered, they're going to be shattered. We're not trying to kill them, we just want them to be not looking at us anymore. You men blast the conscripts. Excellent. Burn your lights to try to engage us, but it hasn't really worked. Area effect is always a good bet. You can actually still, you can kill units outside of the map with it. Okay, let's mind out how we want to do this. Huge losses for that militia unit already. I can see there's an infantry on the right coming back. Carabino will take care of them. Skirmishers and everyone else advanced. Artillery is going to limber up and redeploy. Infantry form a new line. Maybe could have, should have deployed stakes, but I've got Curiosity Air behind the fusiliers to back them up. Good carcass shot hits that blew a hole right through the middle of their formation. Good, they are shattered. Carabina push it up. Fusiliers play stakes because the cavalry's let let us do it. Advance up this hill. But we're gonna throw them off of it, especially once the marines are engaging. Oh they have engaged. Let's push them off this hill. charge. Advance up, take the ground. We saw them off, sir. Kind of placing stakes all along the front. A few of getting shot in the back of the head because of it. 
Desert warriors are shattered, routing through our formation. Artillery bundle up a little bit more. Stay. Dragoons are coming in. Fire at will. Hopefully you blast the dragoons. Exceptional damage. It feels like... Okay, right. How it says... Round shot, target something else. Oh, a six pounder horse artillery is coming in. Let's run my uh, run my skirmish cavalry away. Draw those light draw their light cavalry into uh, the sights of my skirmishes. And then turn around and engage. We'll lose men to our skirmishes, but we still come off better than them. Okay, you guys need to actually... We need to begin taking the ground. Skirmishes, help them out. Not the unit you really want to send. Some is better than none. Even better. Um, okay, it didn't quite mean for that to be the dispersion of effort. Okay, right. Let's start dropping some. Folks firing our carcass shot onto the ground here. If we can break the first foot guards, that would be super. Excellent. Because then you guys can reform the line. Puckle guns are still engaging. Push right up. Come on, heavy cavalry, let's get up here. So then my gorillas can withdraw. They were they chiefly just helped cut my carabiner till the heavy cavalry could come in. Skirmishers advance. Yep, garrison militia's gone. Hillary just starts slamming shots into this clump back here, I suppose. We don't really care if we don't kill their artillery teams exactly. We do want to be in a better position than we are now, which largely I think we are, because we've got them penned in, into the corner. Artillery just slam into their infantry positions. Oh, right, right, right. Round shot. That'll help. Let's start to slam the buckle guns, actually. Gun crews are being shot down. Back they go.
Excellent. You guys are doomed. Ah, oh, the Dragoon shot some of their own men in the back. Who would do that? Oh my foot artillery engaged the Dragoons. It looks like that's the end of this reinforcing army. Artillery just slam should just attack this area now. Everybody else, your job is done. Poor map. Sick of the Desert Warriors with their with their pop guns. Colonial line is still advancing. artillery fire. Excellent. It's so now their reinforcements of reinforcing areas become a death trap. We killed a bunch of militia off map. As soon as they come in. Everyone's making ready. Firing. Oh. Shattered almost immediately. Oh, this feels mean. But it's also glorious. So here comes the 1st Regiment Foot Colonial Line. See, they got onto the, onto the battlefield in good order. you go. 23rd Regiment. Yeah, they also got in in good order. I'm losing so many men very quickly and their morale is just being annihilated. C close victory! Close! Did you even see the same game? Game? Close. That's... You're in cuckoo land if you think that was close. Close. Marlo Osborne. And my line infantry, unsurprisingly, right up top. Good experience across the board there. Ah, oh, then they're trying to sally from the garrison. Let's just auto that. Because... We fought the main battle effectively. Ooh! They're bringing in more troops to support an attack in the north. <laughs> it's a, it's adorable. They are trying. You can't criticise them for that, that's for sure. But the main thing is we need to destroy that British fleet that's come through to the Americas. And obviously, we do still have all these shenanigans in India, <laughs> which is uh, challenging. <laughs> We've got a foothold, but we can't. We need to rapidly expand it. But we're not necessarily in the best place to do that. It's bold, Russia. You've put a navy in the Black Sea, and in this campaign, you don't have a port in the Black Sea. So if you get into trouble, you've got all the way back to go. Ooh, a Swedish invasion force. You're going to land on... Oh, you got pushed back. Denmark lives. Denmark lives. Right. Trade we raided. Okay, so first of all, you need to fall back to Edinburgh. Finish re replenishing. You need 
Get some grand eight gods. Plus a 32 pound a heavy horse howitzer unit. Plus an a heavy cavalry unit. So let's get some household cavalry. Prussia's been destroyed. Austria finally got him. I mean, great Austrian Empire. Woo! Okay, mines, mines, mines. Galway, he's got a power cloth mill. Okay. Speyside have got a better farm so they can harvest more grain for whiskey production. Apart from that though, lots of things seem to be done. Um, but we've still got a... For the most part, lots of our areas are still kind of reeling from the, the, the invention of the steam engine. Uh, right, so you guys... Just replenish, keep doing what you're doing, there's no rush. Garrison at Gibraltar, keep replenishing. You can put Ed, um, London under attack. We could attack it, but for now, I want to. I, I mean, ultimately, I don't mind if I bring in these guys as a reinforcement, that would be fine. But you need to replenish. These navies are up and, up and ready to go, so let's start doing some raiding. Oh, yes, I forgot. We're actually at the stage where we can. Okay, let's start uh, bringing in. bringing in sloops to start raiding Austrian ports. Um. We don't want to do too much more in investing. Okay, we need to reconstitute an army. So let's take all of our... Which has too, way too much artillery. Well, only one gun's worth. So you need one unit of take the Marines. You can be replenished. Let's take four three ship of the line down to Ceylon. Just land them off the coast of Katak. What up, Britain? Cut out your recruiting a, a, a uh, garrison army, but we are going to start. Just swap out some of these militia for real troops. We do want to push on to Calcutta. But for the time being, we'll hop back to the Americas. Where's my big fleet? There it is. See so your galleon. <gasps> another Thunderer! The Daughter Shirt, another Monarch! Oh, the Mary Rose! We want to attack these guys because they are trying to deliver a. deliver a, uh, another army to the north. Um, but looking at the timer, it's definitely time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures uh, against the, uh, the British Empire. Cheers, everyone! <laughs>